dark openings or black holes are among the most captivating and baffling phenomena in the universe. They are immense powerhouses yet nearly imperceptible to us. A black hole weighing maybe two to four times the mass of the sun is a prime example. Over the last few decades, the research invested in them has transformed our understanding from knowing almost nothing to uncovering more intricate details. Things have only gotten more fascinating, especially after recent breakthroughs. Not long ago, scientists finally revealed a glimpse of what's inside a black hole. This new information sheds light on the complex aspects of the universe that science may have initially overlooked. Join us as we delve deeper into the mysteries of black holes and unravel what's hidden within. Space is vast and daunting, but before we explore the recent findings, we must revisit the foundations. Despite many of us having a general idea of what black holes are, there are still gaps in our knowledge. It all began in 1916 when Albert Einstein published his theory of general relativity, which predicted the existence of black holes. At the time, the concept was purely theoretical, requiring an additional 50 years before the scientific community could confirm their reality. This happened in the 1960s, while researchers were studying the Cygnus constellation and observed a strangely bright blue star emitting X-rays. This star was not a dormant object but was orbiting a massive dark entity. Upon further investigation, it was discovered that the X-rays weren't just floating around aimlessly but were being pulled into the dark entity they were circling. Thus, the term black hole was coined. This discovery was significant because it proved that black holes were not merely a product of Einstein's imaginative hypothesis but real entities in space. While this finding was groundbreaking, it also meant that there was a new and mysterious force in space that scientists urgently needed to understand. Researchers around the globe began to focus on this new challenge. The black hole was named Cygnus X-1, located in the Cygnus constellation approximately 6,000 light-years from Earth. It was a monumental discovery, being many times brighter than the Sun and incredibly dense, giving it an immensely powerful gravitational pull. The gravitational force is so intense that not even light can escape from it, which is why it is called a black hole. The nature of a black hole is both fascinating and terrifying. It is a region in space where gravity is so strong that nothing, not even light, can escape its grasp. Anything that gets too close is drawn in and never seen again. This element of danger only makes it all the more compelling to learn as much as possible about these cosmic behemoths. Was this the end of our understanding, or just the beginning, if it turned out to be the latter? After the discovery of Cygnus X-1, scientists began searching for other black holes and found that there might be over 100 million black holes in the Milky Way alone. However, due to their elusive nature, the exact number remains uncertain. Even so, there are likely millions of black holes in our own galaxy, making them critical subjects for study. So let's break it down. The primary concern with black holes will always be gravity. Their gravitational pull is so extreme that anything entering it is compressed to a singularity, a point where the laws of physics as we know them cease to function. In simpler terms, black holes are like cosmic vacuum cleaners, sucking in everything around them. One of the most terrifying aspects of this research is the realization that if someone were to fall into one, they would reach a point where they are stretched and compressed simultaneously, ultimately ending in a singular line. This process would occur slowly, and the individual would perish long before their body is fully transformed into a line. So let's just say no one should willingly step into one. But considering their abundance, could we actually be in danger? Despite the fact that the closest known black hole to Earth is 500 to 1,000 light-years away, it's still close enough to warrant caution and concern. In 2021, researchers were able to produce the first clear image of a black hole, specifically the M87 black hole. This black hole was captured over several consecutive nights, and with each image, scientists gathered more and more evidence about its nature. They had to compile the individual photos to create a complete picture. Through this process, they discovered that a black hole has three distinct layers. It is not just a singular gaping void, as commonly believed. Rather, it is far more complex. 
To reach the so-called nothingness of a black hole, one must first pass through the initial two layers. The first layer is known as the event horizon, which marks the point of no return. Once you cross the event horizon, there is no escape, and you will inevitably be drawn into the black hole. From there, things only get worse. The second layer is the photon sphere, the region where light itself orbits the black hole. Any light entering this area will be trapped and cannot escape the gravitational pull. Finally, we reach the third layer, which is the singularity. This is where everything that enters the black hole is compressed infinitely until it becomes a singularity, a point in space-time where the laws of physics as we know them break down, and we cannot predict what happens next. At the singularity, the density is infinite, and the laws of physics cease to apply. What makes this even more alarming is that each black hole is uniquely different from the others. While they tend to follow the same three-layer structure, their behavior can vary drastically. If this were any other phenomenon, all we would need to do is return to our telescopes and study the primary issue in detail. But with black holes, that is not an option. Researchers can only study them indirectly by observing the radiation they emit and the gas and dust that surrounds them. Sending a probe like the Voyager spacecraft into a black hole is impossible because anything that crosses the event horizon is pulled toward the singularity, where it is compressed into an infinitely small point. So spending billions of dollars to get a direct image each time would be a waste, as the probe would be destroyed the moment it got close enough. Because of this, scientists are left with no choice but to study black holes in a two-dimensional manner, even though they are three-dimensional anomalies. Making things even more complicated, each black hole is unique, and the laws of physics break down as we attempt to analyze their interior. This means that conventional scientific methods do not apply to the study of black holes. That doesn't mean researchers have been idle. There are many theories and explanations regarding black holes, and each one only makes things more intriguing. One of the most compelling theories suggests that black holes are formed from collapsing stars. When a star depletes all its fuel, it can no longer generate enough energy to counteract the force of gravity pulling inward. Consequently, the star begins to collapse in on itself, becoming denser and denser. If the star is massive enough, this process continues until it becomes a singularity. To truly grasp the nature of black holes, NASA scientists turned their attention to the core of the M87 galaxy. Astronomers observed an immensely powerful whirlpool of extremely hot hydrogen gas spinning at an astonishing rate of 1.2 million miles per hour. The shear force should have caused the spinning disk of gas to fly apart in all directions, but it didn't. Scientists concluded that a colossal mass must be at the center of the galaxy, holding everything together. This massive object weighed between 2 and 3 billion times more than the Sun and had to be a black hole. But this isn't the only theory on how black holes behave. When it comes to the complexities of black holes, even the most cutting-edge theories come with a host of contradictions and unknowns. One of the most intriguing theories surrounding black holes is known as the Kerr solution, proposed by New Zealand mathematician Roy Kerr in 1963. It suggests that certain black holes could be rotating. This idea fundamentally changes the way we think about these celestial entities. Instead of simply being a single point in space, a rotating black hole creates a distorted swirling region of space-time around it, known as the ergosphere. The ergosphere is not like the event horizon. Here, particles and radiation can still escape, although they are caught in a complex gravitational dance that can fling them away at extreme velocities. This spinning effect may also cause what is known as frame dragging, where space-time itself is twisted in the direction of the black hole's rotation. Objects near the ergosphere would be pulled into a spiraling path, moving in the same direction as the black hole's spin. Some physicists believe that such black holes could be gateways to other parts of the universe and even to parallel universes. This concept is linked to the idea of wormholes, which are hypothetical passages through space-time that could potentially connect two distant points in the universe. If a black hole is spinning fast enough, it might theoretically tear a rift in space-time and connect to a white hole on the other end, a region that, instead of pulling matter in, ejects it back out. 
but that's just speculation, and we have yet to find any conclusive evidence that wormholes or white holes exist. The real mystery lies in how a rotating black hole singularity might differ from a non-rotating one. According to the Kerr solution, a rotating black hole does not have a simple singularity point. Instead, it possesses a ring singularity, a loop-shaped structure where space-time curvature becomes infinite. If true, this ring could be a doorway to other regions of the universe, allowing for travel between different points in space and time. Theories like these are tantalizing, but we're still unable to confirm them. If traversing a black hole could offer a means of exploring the universe or even escaping it, it raises the question, what really happens inside a black hole? This is where things become even more speculative. According to classical physics, once something crosses the event horizon, it is doomed to fall into the singularity. However, quantum mechanics